It seems like people like this whole film thing. So here's the footage that we're gonna be working with today. So we have a girl, a distillery, aerial. So let's jump in to how I did this great. So there's a couple of elements that I had to find online. So I needed to find something that would add green and grit to the video. And I decided to go with an overlay instead of using like a generator because the overlay is something that you can find online for free. And then I also, found some like artifacts with dust and scratches and stuff. In the description of this video, I'll have a link to the LUT that I built for this and also the power grade file that I uh, made for this. So you can just grab those and then online you can source your own grunge, I guess you could say. I got these two overlays. So let's first add those two. And what I did with them is each one I did a little bit differently, but these, I just put it to screen and I just put the opacity to something that seemed good to me. And the same way with the dust and scratches. Um, I'm also going to add the um, blanking so that we have a, a square shot. And then we will just go right over into the color. And then in the color, I didn't touch the static at all. I did touch the scratches. This is pretty much what this file looks like. It's just a couple of lines on a couple of specs. So we use those to add that um, vintage look. I made a alpha mat and I cut out all the black so it's just the lines. And then I also did a little bit with blur so that the lines weren't so harsh. In the grade itself, the first node that I have, it's just the LUT that I made. Um, it's just called Super 8. It crushes a lot of colors so that there aren't so many. And it also brings the dynamic range. It crunches it quite a bit. These next two are camera shake. So let's go into this one and we'll go into OFX. So when I first was working with this, it had a lot of um, like diagonal movements in the shot. A lot of the settings that were in there were kind of floaty. So they'd float around like this. And I ended, I wanted it to shake back and forth. Between these two, when you enable them both, we get a bit of shake in the shot. It's real subtle and the dust lines and scratches really help with selling that look, that part of the look. So finally, I just added a little bit of blur so that it's not that sharp. Um, a lot of these cameras are really old, so obviously they're not sharp at all. Uh, I just wanted to kind of sell that. And this is pretty much the the shot that I came up with. One thing that I that I forgot to say, these scratches, you want to make sure that they're underneath the, um, the noise because you want the noise to affect the scratches and dust as well. Let's just go through these and we will add this look to the other shots now that you know how it was built. We will pick our grade and when you import the power grade, you'll just, it's just one of these buttons that you'll hit. You just middle mouse on the right thing. <laughs> so over here, you will just middle mouse. And if you loaded the LUT into DaVinci, once you load the power grade, the LUT will automatically be added to it. If you don't add the LUT into your DaVinci, you'll end up getting an error saying I can't find this particular LUT. Come over here. We'll play this one. Oh, I forgot to add my noise and dust. So we'll add the noise and dust to both of these. And all I'm doing is just holding Alt to copy it. So now let's go into these aerial shots. Take a look at those. If you ask me, that is really selling the, the look. So um, I think it came out pretty good. It took me a little while to actually build this grade. While I was like, 
know, halfway through building the grid, I was like, this tutorial is gonna go on for an hour. And now if you feel that the, the look is too strong, you can just click on this first node that has the LUT enabled. And then if you come over to the key, you can just turn the key input down. So let's just, you know, make it half the strength. If you don't want that and you just want the camera shake, you know, that's with just the camera shake and the blur. If you have some type of like white balance issue or, or something of that nature, you could just on the first node here, just right click on it and then come into add serial node before, grab this little white balance picker and then just find a white spot and click. This node will then be white balanced. So yeah, this was the look for today. I was requested to make a super eight look. Uh, I, I think it came out pretty good. If let me know what your, your thoughts are on it. And if you have any requests, just you know, leave them down in the comments. And if I feel that I could make it, I'll give it a shot and let you guys know what, what I uh, come up with. My name's JR and thanks for watching.